In today's video, I want to show you how to install Void Linux in your Android device. We are going to use Thermux P root environment, so you don't need to be root. Also, if you are interested, I can do a video on Void Linux but in a CH root environment. So, the first thing to do is always go into my repository. Here, you will find all the steps that you need to follow to install Void Linux in your Android device. So, under the P root section, you can click on the Void Linux logo and let's follow the first steps. Just click on the copy button and now go to Thermux. Here you can paste all the commands. The process can take a bit, but after everything finishes, we are going to be able to start Void Linux in a very easy way. We just need to copy this line and paste it into Thermux. After the process finishes, you will see some message and you can log in with the command that you are seeing right now. So write pd login void is the same as pdroot distro login void. And you can see that the terminal has changed and now we see bash basically we are inside void linux so now let's copy the first commands this will update the repository and upgrade the packages but the first time that you execute this the system will throw an error to fix this we just need to run the command that you see which is the first command that we have just executed so we can copy this from the repository and execute it in Thermux. After this, we are now going to be able to update and upgrade all the packages. So we need to copy the second command from the list, go again to my repository and copy just the second command. We are going to paste this into Thermos and this can take a while. But after the process finishes, we are ready to start doing some configurations in the system. So let's go again to my repository and let's follow the following steps. We are going to install some packages to check that everything is working fine. So copy and paste this command. And after that, we are going to be able to use nano and also to use, for example, if config, because we have just installed the net tools utility. And now we are going to install the packages needed for the graphical environment. We are going to install XC for desktop because it's the one that I like the most. It's very light and it works really well. But to make XFC4 work, we need to install also LXD. So we are going to install both environments. You can change the start script later and you can select the one that you prefer. But now we are going to create a new user. In my case, I will create a new user called Droidmaster, as always. And we are going to set a password for that user. You can do it with the command that you are seeing right now. And you need to type the password two times. After this, we need to give that user sudo permissions so we need to modify the etc sudo as file look for the line where we have the root user and we are going to copy and paste the same line but with the user that we have just created in my case droidmaster as you are seeing right now Control o and Control x to save and exit and we can continue with the process also in my repository you can find the command to install chromium and firefox so you can use the browser that you prefer. In my case, I will just install both, but you can select just one or another. Finally, we are going to download and execute the start script. So we are going to use this script to start Thermux X11 with a graphical desktop. Just copy and paste the command and Thermux X11 will be open. The first time you will see that error message, but you can close the window and there is no problem. You can see that if you open the terminal, for example, the font is not properly configured, so we are going to fix that. Open a browser, the one that you prefer. Remember that if you open Chromium, you need to use the no sandbox tag. You can leave a comment if you don't know what I'm talking about. But we are going to my repository. Let's go to the period section and here we are going to click on the Void Linux logo. If you take a look to the index, you can see that we have the how to install XSC desktop section and at the end I have a comment to install Nerfonts. This will occupy a giga and a half, but you can install just one font manually, but I think the process is a bit tedious, so I prefer doing it automatically as I have a more than enough space, so I will just copy and paste this command. The process will take a bit, but after it finishes, if you go to the preferences of the terminal, appearance, you can select all the fonts that we have just installed. In my case, I will select this one, but you can select any other font. Now that we have just installed the NERF fonts, we can customize the terminal. For this, we are going to use Starship, because you just need to copy and paste one command. So if you go to the guides, you can open Linux and copy this command. Open a new terminal and paste the command. 
take a look to the message that will appear because we need to copy one part of that message. So accept that we are going to install Starship and now go to the bash part. Here you will see this line so we need to copy this and we need to paste it into the bash rc file. So you can edit the file with nano or with bin as you prefer. Go to the last line and paste the line. Ctrl O and Ctrl X to save and exit and type bash to reload the terminal. Now if you go to preset you will find several themes so you can select the one that you like the most and copy the command to install the theme. Just paste it into the terminal and when the process finishes the theme is automatically applied as you can see. If you want to look for a package if it is available or not you can use the command query with the modifier R and in this case for example I will check that LSD exists in the body linux repository so i'm going to install lsd and we are going to replace ls with lsd so when you type ls you will see the list of folders and files but with the icon next to the name now we are going to create an alias so we are going to replace ls with lsd you can comment the one that is already placed with ls and we are going to type ls equals lsd between quotes Control o and Control x to save and exit and reload with bash after this, I will show you how to customize XOSC4, but remember that you have a complete video about customization of this desktop environment in the channel. So first, we are going to finish the customization of the terminal, installing a new color palette. In my case, I will install XOSC4 Dracula theme, but you can install any other, like Nordic for example. So we can go to the official page for Dracula themes, XOSC4 terminal, and we can clone the repository. You can read the documentation, it's pretty well explained. So we need to go inside the folder from the repository and we are going to copy and paste the Dracula.thin file into the folder that they say here. So copy the path and we are going to create the folder because right now it doesn't exist. So use the command mkdir with the minus p part and the path. And now we can move the Dracula.thin file to this path just execute the command and now if we go to the preferences of the terminal colors here we will see that we have a new option called Dracula but also you can take a look to the other presets with this we can finish the customization of the terminal and now I will show you how to customize the icons and the themes of the general applications let's go to the page that I always use xc for looks and you can order by rating or as you prefer in this case I will try to use another theme that I have never used so I will use this one called sequos you can download the file open it and open a terminal in the download folder now we need to uncompress the file so you have to use the command that you are seeing right now done with these options and when the process finishes you can remove the file that we have just downloaded because we don't need it anymore now we need to create a couple of folders the dot themes and dot icons in the home directory not in the download folder and now we can move all these folders into the dot themes folder that we have just created with that now the system detects that we have just installed these themes so if we go to settings appearance they will appear here as you can see you have a dark version and a light version in my case i like dark theme so i will select this one also remember to change the window manager you will have several themes but you can select the one that you prefer or the one that comes with the themes that we have just installed like i'm doing right now from this now we can install a full icon theme you can select it in the left part and in this case i will select this one called zafiro icons but you can take a look to all the themes available wait a couple of seconds and click on the download button when the process finishes, we need to open a terminal in the download folder and we are going to uncompress the file as we did before with the themes. Use the command that you are seeing right now. After the process is completed, remove the original file because we don't need it anymore and move the folder that appears to the dot icons folder. And after this, you can select the icons themes in the settings. So go to settings, appearance, and now we need to go to the icons tab. Here you will find the icons that we have just installed and they are automatically applied.
remember to change the folder from the default one to the one with your background's images. Just select the image and it will be applied. I also like to modify this part on the top panel, but you can leave it by default. I like to put just short names or short letters and change from the miniature view to buttons, as you can see. In this case, I forgot to rename the fourth part because I clicked outside and it didn't save. But now you can see that this occupy a lot less space. And now you can check that everything is working fine and we have Void Linux working on our Android device. And to finish the video, I want to thanks a lot Frodo, a user from our Discord server, because he has helped me a lot with the Arc Linux CH root environment video and also with this one. Also, I will publish a video thanks to him on Void Linux CH root environment, so don't forget to subscribe, like and share.